Hayabusa. Out of the shadows, literally. I <laughs> haven't seen Hayabusa in about forever. Private, what's going on? But a ninja for a ninja, no! Don't, New Wave, do not play with my emotions. There's no room for a Hanzo unless you want to be like that. Don't, all right, cool, all right, all right. I was about to lose it. Yeah, they're just dancing around. They're playing with our emotions right now for what we're going to be looking for uh, as this gold laner right now. I interesting pickup uh, for this Hayabusa. I mean, I do like the flexibility and how well Hayabusa can transition from like that standard assassin to a split pushing menace. Uh, but I mean, oh. as far as the tank meta has come out and. Uh, and like uh, with his targets, I feel like he's going to be very, uh, he's not going to have a lot of targets here that he's going to be able to kind of latch onto with that uh, shadow kill. Uh, but we do yeah. see Brody being picked up by New Wave. Uh, and then we're going to have, we're just going to have big damage there once Brody starts, or Brody, once, uh, <laughs> oh my God. I, I can't even remember the name. It's, it's so long since Bruno. I seen the, the marks. We don't talk Bruno. about Bruno. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. And I think, that's a crime because I have had whispers from down the grapevine from uh, some pro players uh, here in the Philippines that, that, that Bruno is, is quite the menace. So uh, given this lineup that uh, New Wave has drafted specifically because of the Atlas and the Esmeralda buying uh, some space for the Bruno, I'm expecting a lot of great things from Japa. Yeah, we're going to see the damage going to be able, if it's going to be able to come out here. We are starting up. I think we've been a little bit more safer now. We don't see as much aggression on the buffs, but we do still at the top. We see that aggression, that cutting lane from Team Sexy there, and he's going to go ahead and transition over into the red buff. Yep. Uh, let's see if Rimuru wants to tickle... Uh... Indo's orange, but it looks like it's not gonna happen. Uh, that is the purple secured by Indo, and I'm, I'm still so impressed as to how Indo plays this Dyroth jungle. Maybe I just haven't seen the right ones. Uh, so far, they are giving best player a run for his money, forcing Nicolette to play uh, Leash as well, put a, put, a, put a perimeter around the jungle, and we're not even seeing Little Wanderer just yet. Uh, unless it was taken so quickly already. Uh, <laughs> it was. It what, was. What happened? Uh, we do see the. There it it is. does seem like yeah. It was taken uh, by the side of Team Sexy there, uh, right. and then uh, it looked like uh, uh, that uh, the side of New Wave went ahead and put it down as well. We do have, still have thirty seconds left on this turtle. Both teams being very respectful of each other's ability right now, but we might start seeing the engagements start happening as we move closer and closer to this first turtle, and we do see a little bit of an invade by Indo here at the top. Uh, and he's going to be able to get that minion and get away. Yep, it's uh, a mirror attempted by best player, but uh, there was... Ziggy to answer back. Woogie Shadow Kill on to Ziggy. Uh, not enough to get the kill on, so it was more just like a shadow. So, Dogster here, <laughs> buying some time, but Team Sexy finds the angle, and New Wave has to give up this turtle. Yeah, and a good pickup by best player there to get the turtle unanswered and really not uh, not much done by New Wave there. Usually they're very good about countering. If they're not going to be able to get turtle, they're going to make it. They're going to. Uh, they're going to make a value out of it. They're going to push, but we do see maybe a little bit of an engagement happening down here at the bottom. Warrior is Ooh. trying to get away. Real world manipulation comes down. Warrior is taken down there, and Nicolette might have checked into the wrong bush. Is going to have to wings by wings away, but a good pickup and a first blood by the side of New Wave there. All right, some, some, some camps and a kill onto the Matilda. Uh, the trade by New Wave for that turtle. Let's see. Oh, Indo gets spotted. Yeah, we do have that feathered airstrike. Is gonna put the uh, put your money where your mouth is there, and down goes that Dyroth. We were talking about that uh, mobility issue that he does have, and it's gonna be probably a little bit more of a problem as we start moving in, and that cooldown does get reduced for that feathered airstrike, because he's gonna be able to put on a lot of damage to him, especially if he's not gonna be able to get away there. A little bit of damage coming onto Warrior there, and they are gonna go ahead and protect this tower, take down this minion, but a little bit of 
gold is taken down and warrior just kind of harassing Joppa up here, <laughs> letting him know, yeah, I'm still around and we're still here trying to make him scared or not scared, but letting him know that uh, you're going to have to respect these bushes uh, when you're playing against us. Speaking of bushes, look at how Nicolette is on the corner of that bush, not even hiding. Like, she knows that they have to respect her. And oh my god, showing us exactly why she is one of the most prolific mages in NA. Pushing uh, that gold lane, making it unsafe for Joppa, who's holding on for dear life. One HP in a dream. <laughs> Team Sexy's not letting this gold lane breathe, man. New Wave yeah. has to think about how to answer back. Yeah, and right now, New Wave was, there was a good set there. Oh, Tamal coming in there. Real World Mirror actually coming onto gold. Is he going to be able to get away? He does and is able to put some damage onto Tamal. But man, we do see this turtle, meanwhile, being taken by Nicolette and Ramuru, setting it up so that Hayabusa can go ahead, get in there, put on the damage, and pick up this turtle without much of a contestion by the side of New Wave. And they are coming, moving up and spreading this lead to just beyond 1K at the five minute mark. Mark. About 440, where we're seeing. Uh, we'll check the items later on, but oh lordy, Lou. Indo getting squished as the dire off. And again, just a minute ago, we were here in Gold Lane. Team Sexy was all here. Now they're still here. They, they, they want to make sure that Jappa doesn't get anything built. He's far from a first item. And uh, I'm thinking, oh, wow, an early clock of destiny into, uh, I'm guessing, a book uh, might be what uh, Nicolette is building up next. And there's the uh, Blade of Despair for gold. Yeah, private, and they're not letting go. <laughs> yeah, when you see that private fight coming down there and looking for some damage, Jappa is going to use that flicker in. It's not able to secure the kill and goes down there as well as Tamal uh, being taken down with a Ziggy at the side there. So a great play by Team Sexy there, not letting up onto this gold lane and punishing that kind of lackadaisical early game that we usually get. But up at the top, we do see Rumuru is going to get taken down from the tag team of Dog Tour and Indo. Because of that trade up top, I was gonna say, oh, at least New Wave has something, but no, not at all. New Wave is down. Uh, and Team Sexy is stonks right now. They traded two turrets for one dude. And Rimuru should be taking that trade all day. I think if Rimuru can force that, <laughs> then they would win. Like if they take this to the 10 minute mark, there would be no base for New Wave. But that being said, it looked like New Wave again found some breathing room and I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but anything to give Jaffa any space and farm should be the way to go. The Bruno dream isn't dead quite yet, still not a meme. Yeah, we just see that Fatal Link's coming down with the slow. Ramuru is going to be taken down here by Joppa. Feather Airstrike comes down, but it is not soon enough to put on some suppressive fire as Ramuru is going to catch an easy way back to the base. We do see that Circling Eagle coming deep into the line onto Joppa, but that real-world manipulation comes down, and down goes Gold, and Joppa traded there. Indo is dangerously low as Ziggy goes down, and Doctor coming in to try to fend off this fight and is going to be able to protect Indo uh, and his escape. He was so close to becoming in don't. So far, I'm so happy that at least the Dyroth can breathe. Uh, again, one more look. Aka! Starting off with Warrior spacing out uh, the rest of uh, Team Sexy. Oh, sorry, Team New Wave uh, to allow for that turtle. And I think that shield, that, that turtle shield really bought it for Team Sexy, and that allowed them to push in a little deeper and reclaim that lead. Ooh, Scarlet Phantom onto Jaffa right now. I am looking forward to seeing a swing back from New Wave. That's usually the thing that allowed them to win in the late game in last week's matches, but now it's like Team Sexy is not allowing them to breathe and get that back. Um, so far, it's up to New Wave. They, they have to be a little more disciplined. They're still not out of the woods.
Yeah, but this is something that we have seen from New Wave time after time is they will bank on that late game. They'll be patient. They'll wait for those fights. They'll wait for those mistakes, for somebody to check a bush, for somebody to make a play that just they that the rest of their team, uh, that the rest of Team Sexy is not ready for. And it's going to come down to whether or not Team Sexy can uh, get that lead. We do see that Falling Starman coming in, and we do see that Feather Airstrike coming down quickly, dispatching, but a Fatal Lynx comes down purified out of it. And that's where we see these purifies coming in very patient with it and an answer that could have gone hairy for them and though taking a lot of damage from that shadow kill and best player able to take him down as they are putting the boots on the jappa as he's gonna have to flicker away and get zoned out are they gonna be able to pick up this tower and they are trying to put the boots onto it not gonna be able to get it just yet but down at the bottom we do see that gold is gonna go ahead and push that lane in while the rest of team sexy on this lord and this is what they have been this is what we were talking about what they needed to do keep on this early game pressure keep it in their face and don't let up you can't give them any breathing room because the moment you do the moment you make a mistake new wave is going to come barreling down on top of you and close this game with a quickness yep so that's what team sexy saw and uh they read into it and it seems like the call was, let's just get as comfortable as we can get. They're sitting on lazy boys. They got their, um, their, 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 their cotton slippers on and they're wearing just, just bathing robes, bathrobes. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm comfortable out of my mind because looking at their draft, it is not at all a 2022 draft. So that means they are just playing off of pure instinct. And I love how they are just threatening a finish here there's a lord down bottom and nicolette is blasting two waves two lanes at the same time yeah that perfect setup in between with that feathered airstrike but you see that circling eel come down on tamal is only able to catch one with that fatal lynx but down goes tamal is able to take down best player down comes the real world manipulation as they are trying to disengage here are going to go ahead and pick up this tower is Ramuru at the mid there are they going to be able to close is this what you want is this engagement what you want so far you got to be patient we do see up at the top they're going to go ahead and change their focus up there all the lanes starting to come in a falling star moon does go wide and is punished by nicolette there with that feathered airstrike and they lose another one and this has swung 13 to 6 in favor of team sexy with only well, with one inhibitor left on the side of new wave and that's what happens when you're playing super comfortable and you're presenting this much damage as team sexy you're forcing new wave to play where they're not comfortable, right? So it's just yin and yang. We're so comfortable, we're doing exactly what we want, and New Wave is forced to answer back and play off kilter. They're, this is not their tempo, not at all. You see how Dogster was forced to go in and, and Falling Star Moon, and then Jabba was like, all right, let me kick in, let me kick in. Uh, uh. And Team Sexy, all Nicola had to do was feather an airstrike in your face. And look at this, a one-man hit with the Fatal Links, and they did get it, but at what cost, right? They're not, yeah. they're not gonna get away with this, look! Yeah, we do see them. <laughs> Shadow Kill does latch onto that. Bruno Dogger is trying to disengage there. So they do answer that kill onto Nicolette with something of their own as Jappa gets taken down. And they're going to go ahead and pick up this blue buff as well. They're still in a great position here. Still 20 seconds left on this Lord. And they're going to be able to pick up a, or a Luminous Lord potentially here as we move in to the 12 minute mark. It's so difficult to be New Wave right now. And it's so counterintuitive, uh, the way that they have to answer back. Because they need some discipline, all the discipline that they can. If there is going to be a Game 3, they need to borrow some discipline from that Game 3. Loan it to themselves in the past, <laughs> today, right here in the present. Their past. Uh, time travel is, is, is tricky business. But all I'm saying is, they need to play more defensively. And that seems to be out of the question. But they do get two kills. Yeah, we saw the Feather Airstrike come down, but then the Flicker into the Fatal Lynx, able to catch two members of Team Sexy. And oh, I don't even know who that Lord went to. It did go over to the side of Team Sexy. So they are able to pick up the kills, but they do not pick up this Luminous Lord. Uh, but they're, uh, but uh, Team Sexy's not gonna get much value out of it. They do only have three members, unless they can kind of make something magical happen out of this push, maybe synchronize these lanes. But I mean, you see the rest of new wave kind of chunking up at that top lane 
Yeah. So, in the long run, I, I'd say a shutdown is as good. And oh, the burst. Put respect on it, Ziggy says. Ziggy, taken down, best player, caught out of nowhere. <laughs> It's, this is, this is going to be an easier defense than that last Lord. So, uh, I'm guessing New Wave is still in it. New Wave uh, shrinking that gold lead. I mean, by no means it's still a, a position that you want to be in. But at least it, it's better than how they've ever been in, this, in the past 10 minutes. Uh, going into, what, 13 and change. But this is what we were talking about, is that discipline toward the late game that New Wave has and their ability to kind of capitalize on these mistakes. And this is what Team Sexy is kind of falling into. They got maybe a little too overextended uh, that Feathered Airstrike. I don't even know if that's overextended because Atlas came out of nowhere with those Fatal Links onto uh, Nicolette. There wasn't any better positioning you could have had there. Uh, and then they did get captured with it. But what the problem was is after that, what you did after that, we had Hayabusa. We had a best player kind of going in for that uh, for that shadow kill, but there really wasn't any. There wasn't anything you were going to make happen. You weren't going to be getting anybody down there, and all he did was kind of set himself up to be kind of taken down as well. So I mean, uh, they they still this nobody's out of this matchup yet. So it's not the time to get greedy. Either way, yeah, but the, the punishes are so much harder on Team Sexy. Like if Team Sexy loses one and New Wave doesn't, then all the more the comeback is going to hurt. As for New Wave, they've been on the back foot for the longest time in this game, and they can get used to this. Uh, it's just a matter of learning when to switch gears. But for now, they have to accept the fact that they are not uh, in the driver's seat. So that sounds that sounds weird. Like, you have to switch gears, but you're not driving. Anyways, New Wave, they still lack even core items on their main core, on Jaffa. Uh, I did see his last item thought was still empty, but wait. Oh, Fatal Links! Fatal Links, what do you do? It is answered by that Feathered Airstrike coming down. We do see that Best Player gets taken down there as well. Warrior in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to activate that Circling Eagle. Is it going to be enough for him to get away? A pause and a stun issued out by Nicolette. We do have a Torn Apart Memories. Is going to take Doctor dangerously low, but not enough to really uh, warrant a full disengage there as they are waiting. You see Tamal kind of hiding in this bush, kind of letting them know, I'm here. I dare you to go for this Lord right now because he's going to answer it with another another stun and maybe a fatal links there we do see that feather and oh my god fatal links does land on the three members of team sexy but the damage is being done to that atlas tamal trying to get out of there as answered back by a real world manipulation coming down onto them luckily none of uh, team sexy go down for that and they are going to be able to pick up this luminous lord again another lord third of the game Still doesn't have the thunder and lightning, but just the same. New Wave did not have the ults on time. Like if it was Fatal Links into real world manipulation, into Wave of the World, then yes, Team Sexy would have been but dust. But New Wave, uh, again, you can see how you there, there's some frustration. I can sense the frustration in the way that they're playing and still we're lacking that one last item in that core in that job of bruno for team sexy they're, they're all built they're, they're all set up and now they just have to focus on taking down this last inhibitor and then going from there playing like that boa constructor that new wave was in game number one now the shoes on the other foot they have to switch gears one more time they have to adjust and they have to accept the fact that all right guys hunker down we have to play d yeah, and it's going to be come down to the communication there, too. Like you said, they didn't have their ults ready yet, but Tamal went in there. We do have this wave crashing in at top. This is going to probably spell the end of this top inhibitor right now, and they are crashing in. We're trying to zone them out with this real-world manipulation. We do see that immortal immortality activated. Jaffa's going to get the kill onto Remuru. We do see that Torn Apart Memories coming out there. Uh, so, like, not a lot of value, but they came. They accomplished what they set out for. Did Team Sexy. They took down the last inhibitor and this is going to be a little bit more trouble for the side of new wave as we do have i want to say enhanced minions now that you're going to have to worry for every one of these long engagements what amazing naglaing mantap 
all of the languages, uh, muy bien, uh, defense by New Wave. It was amazing. Now, they, they took one down and they survived. Yes, they gave up inhibitor, but I could not have asked for more. And now, oh, perfect chain of events. That's what we were looking for, Private. Yeah, we do see Tamal coming in with that Fatal Lynx. Unfortunately, it does look like Nicolette was kind of caught in a bad way. Is going to have to wings by wings back out of there, but they lose best player in that engagement. Tamal being a kind of a menace here. Warrior in a bad way here. Caught a little far there. Oh, Torn Apart Memories is going to take down Tamal, but we do see that Circling Eagle does not connect as he gets taken down quickly. We do see that immortality activated by Indu, but cleaned up as soon as he pops up as a welcome and goodbye again. So now we have a 3v3 uh, New Wave versus Team Sexy here at the 18 minute mark. Same story. You can copy paste what I said about the whole frustration and timing and switching gears from the past two or three team fights and then paste it right here. So now we're closer to evens. We're closer to this being a 50-50. Still, I give a little bit of the advantage to Team Sexy, seeing how New Wave is a little bit more, uh, I don't know, playing with their heart on their sleeve. Uh, but just the same, if this keeps happening, oh, yeah, if this keeps happening, goes down there and we do see them coming onto this Lord. This is the most important Lord. This is the post 18 minute Lord right now. And this is not the position you want to be in with one player down. We are dancing around and we do, we have kind of dragged it out there. We are baiting right now, but we do see Jappa is going to go ahead and start with that big boy uh, Bruno damage there. And oh no, we do see a Fatal Lynx coming down onto them, followed by a Feathered Airstrike. Look at all the damage going on to New Wave. Jappa is going to get this, getting a, a taken oh. down there as Warrior dives deep into there. We are now latching on to Ziggy, but now we're zoning out. We aren't actually focused on the Lord right now. We do see Remu is going to get taken down by that Eve there. So we are at a two for one trade in favor of New Wave right now. Doctor curing Team Sexy of their disease of being alive. I love it. Esmeralda really is one of the heroes that build the pillars of NAMOBB and it's because of players like Doctor uh, that make that possible. Rimuru, he's amazing, right? Towns, but you, you you need to hit people to get a save. But wait, come, come the fight! Yeah. Yeah, we do see it come in there with that Fatal Link's but now we have the Feather Airstrike coming down. Nikolai's gonna have to disengage there as Tamal activates that Immortality. Down goes Indo at the hands of Best Player, followed by uh, Tamal there. And now Warriors trying to zone out with Doctor. New Wave is in a bad way right now. That is three for unanswered kills for Team Sexy, and they are starting on this Lord. This could be GG for the side of New Wave if they can get this. Nikolai goes down at the hands of Jappa, so much damage. Gold gets taken down as well. I spoke too soon because again, we are at even stakes here. Two for two. Every single time you think a team gets an advantage, it gets answered right away. Okay, I can say now very clearly, we are at 50-50. Here is another look. <laughs> at this point, I could have sworn it was over because a team fight that lasts that long, uh, you have so many stacks with the Torn Apart Memory, you, you really have to pay attention. But again, the fact that Torn Apart Memory has already been spent, and then you see, Wind of Nature, triggered by Jappa, makes even players as amazing as Gold think twice. And you, you don't even have time to think. You're like, oh, this guy's kicking balls in my face. What do I do? Lay and die. That's what happened there. And now there's three members missing from Team Sexy, and New Wave's gonna finally have their first taste at a Lord. Private, this is a Lord that has been blessed by the God of Thunder himself, Thor. And don't get sick. Yeah. Yeah, Indo has it, and right now we do see Remuru is going to go down here. This is not what you wanted. You give them the Lord, and now you gave them a kill. We do see that Feathered Airstrike coming down, and down goes, oh, or able to flicker away, actually, was Tamal there. So they're not going to be able to answer this with a kill of their own, and they have an 18 minutes, like, luminous 
times two Lord barreling down through the bottom here. And this is going to be a dangerous game for Team Sexy here to be able to balance out the power of this Lord and then the possible pushes by the team. As you do see that Falling Star Moon is going to go ahead and come down there as Nicolette activates that Wings by Wings by Warrior in a little bit of bad way. Look how much slowed she is. That Circling Eagle coming down there, followed by the Feathered Airstrike. The damage onto Z to Jaffa as he does go down. Turn Apart Memories does take them dangerously low, but they are going to have to regen their health as this Luminous Lord barreling down at the bottom. Looks like they are making good short work of it, so they live to fight another day. Oh, wow. Team Sexy, despite all of um, the shortcomings or those windows of... Um, I don't know, lapse of judgment uh, over the past five minutes that have allowed New Wave that Lord, they made short work of it. That Lord XD, Class S, double reloaded, special edition, was just taken down, man. Even with all the extra skills it had, the fact that Team Sexy had a clear go at it uh, made it an easy defense. They lost, what, two turrets, top and bottom? Is that right? Uh, a mid lane turret, too. I can't believe that mid lane tier one was still standing all this time. So yeah, we're <laughs> past the 20 minute mark. Every death, every single death is going to be a punish. And these, 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 these miss, how do I say, these, these bursts uh, from the core players, I'm talking about uh, uh, best player and Nicolette, they're gonna be all the more important to hide themselves. That's what I'm looking for. They have to hide themselves in the right bushes because it seems like New Wave is getting better at finding out when their purifies are down. Yeah, and we do see uh, Best Player almost in a little bit of a bad position there uh, as Ziggy's able to kind of come out there and almost gets caught on his return shadow there, but they, they aren't able to pick it up. And uh, man, uh, they're kind of getting a little spread out here uh, as we do see Matilda in a little bit of trouble here. Warrior is going to go ahead and disengage. They're not going to go ahead and continue this, but in a good position right now, both teams basically feeling it out and... and Sexy in a decent position right now. They do still have the safety of those towers, but I don't think that's going to stand another Lord push right now. Uh, they, they only have two towers at mid and then the inhibitors. We do see, oh, oh my God, look at the damage. Just one hit drops a Jap Jappa down to a third of health. And here is the Lord, the prize that they've been waiting and so patient for here. And we do see we're going to go ahead, start the fight up at top. Uh, Jappa does latch oh. on with that shadow kill. Is it going to come back here? We just see Tamal. With that, uh, with that ability, the the, uh, the oh my god! Look at all the damage right now. Tamal is going to go ahead and latch down. Do they have the wings by wings to be able to get away there? But we do see Ramuru in a bad way. That is two kills for the side of New Wave as they are going to go ahead and start on this Lord. This might be it for them. This Lord right now at the 25 minute mark, especially with these huge death counters on the side of Team Sexy, and there's not much they're going to be able to do to counter this Lord push. Yep, very hard to steal, very hard to come back from, but uh, do note that there are still turrets standing for Team Sexy. Their base is protected by one, two, three, four more turrets. New Wave has a lot of the map to buy back for. It's not over quite yet, but there is something I have to note, Team Sexy. It's their turn to get into the frustrated chair. I just invented this. This is meta uh, <laughs> an analogy uh, in my head where like, there's a chair, there's five of them, and then you get frustrated when you sit down there. And Team Sexy, it looks like they're the one who get frustrated because I, I, I can see that Nicolette's uh, Feathered Airstrike off timer. Uh, the Kaka from Warrior, the Circling Eagle, it, it's catching the wrong people now. And again, I hate to say it, but best player, He's putting himself in the right bushes, but again, there's so many more answers than th than the threats he's presenting, right? Very specifically, how Jaffa just popped the Wind Talker. The Wind of Nature, yeah. I, uh, I, I mean, the Wind of Nature, as I was watching, he's like, oh, this is not gonna go well for best player. So now, worst case scenario, they lose two inhibitors. Best case scenario, they lose none of them, and they get a kill out of wave, new wave, maybe two.
Yeah, we're seeing right now that Feather Airstrike is going to come down, and that is just such a great defense, especially that pick by Nicolette to pick up this Farja because she's able to take down his minions. We just need to be able to take down that Lord. If you could take down that Lord, Nicolette's going to be able to finish the job to be able to present that uh, Feathered Airstrike to take down these minions quite quickly and from a decent uh, a decent uh, yardage away from these minions as she's striking them. Warrior getting a little eager, is kind of pressing on here, letting his team know where they are at onto this blue buff, but I'm not sure this is an engagement that they want right now. They're going to need to have something a little bit more organized. Is was No, no, Nicolette wasn't able to pick that up. I was about to say, uh, but it would have been an amazing and maybe a little bit of a morale boost for the side of uh, Team Sexy, but both teams, uh, we're starting to get an, an, an even keel here right now, uh, even though the gold is, oh my god, we do see a real world manipulation come down there, followed by a fatal leaks, and down comes the falling star moon. Oh! The damage coming down to Maul is able to survive though, and they do, that is a, still five players for both teams up here as the new wave is gonna have to disengage, but there's not much you can get out of that fight. You kind of, they're gonna be able to lick their wounds and have enough time to get back to this Lord as there are 30 seconds left, but a good engagement and maybe a little bit of a misplay by new wave there. Yep, both Tamal and best player got away with but one HP. And that's clutch. Would have. I think there's a small window for both teams have forced the issue there. But again, we're, 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 we're slowly going into ultra, ultra double time overtime, wherein both teams, they've gone through their frustrated phase. Uh, they've gone through their mom, it's not a phase, you don't understand phase. And they're going into, all right. This is do or die for New Wave. It's match point for Team Sexy. It's but step one in a long hill. But look at this! Ka -ka! Ah, warrior in that yeah. bush got checked by Indo, and they can time it out. There's the feathered airstrike. Indo survives it, and Kamal walks away with his life. But look, what's this? This is Doctor, right? Oh no! One before? No. Yeah, he is going to be able to get away from that. And that's this is what we start seeing, especially at that late game right now. It's going to be very hard, especially, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm a full-fledged fan of Hayabusa, maybe not checking some of these bushes. I know he is a firm believer in his shadow ability, but I feel like that's been upsetting the side of Team Sexy as they try to kind of clamor around it or they lose their major uh, uh, retribution user there. We do see Tamal is going to be able to flicker away, but does, we do see that best player goes down again. And this is going to oh, set it up. No. Are we going to be able to kind of capitalize as the, on this as Atlas is going to have to return to base. That is a giant death t timer on the side of best player there. Colossal. And he's such an important part of this hopefully last part of the game because uh, a lot, even chat, I'm checking chat every now and then. It's like, oh no, somebody's ended. Down goes Ziggy. Do they find a trade? Nicolette's still alive. Yeah, we do see that uh, Nicolette does get taken down there. It's only gold and Remuru left, but I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to make something happen here. Oh, we do see that Tamal gets taken down with a Torn Apart Memories, and this might be the oh. breathing room that they needed as the Lord gets reset, but gold is not gonna be able to make it. He gets taken down by Jappa, and Indo is gonna go ahead and latch onto this Lord. He's gonna go ahead. I don't think there's gonna be anything that's gonna be able to stop him unless uh, <laughs> Remuru is, uh, is gonna, oh, actually, they're gonna go ahead, go ahead and stop. Uh, I, I think I'm confused. I think Indo is just as confused as I am of what they want your, to do here right now. <laughs> your confusion, Private, is just as much as New Wave. For two or three seconds, they were like, so do we Lord? Or do we force the issue and try to get a penetration? Okay, understood. Let's just go for Lord now. And Rimuru, he has a dream here, man. He has a dream to steal the Lord, and it's going to be denied. Knock up here, and he gets taken down. A wipeout, a delayed wipeout, but still a clear Lord take. Oh man, the last Lord that New Wave took resulted to uh, nothing, actually. So now, they have to go again. They want to go again, and it looks like the timers are going to allow them to at least maybe take one inhibitor, at least. Yeah, and now you're not going to have Remuru up for this fight as the Lord is coming in now. This might be a fight that New Wave wants, and unfortunately, it feels like Team Sexy, this late game is just not in their favor for these engagements right now. It always starts off with the pickoff on the best player. We do see a little bit of a setup here. Luminous Lord is here. The Warrior taking a heap of damage there as this Lord tries to charge, but the tower is already down. Is there going to be anything to stop them as this real world manipulation comes, resulting in Nicolette having to use that wings by wings? This Lord is putting on damage and this is gonna be it a uh, new wave is gonna be moving on and uh, team sexy is gonna be going on to the still happy
have a chance bracket. Private New Wave just called in the last wave. And Team Sexy, again, part probably the last bastion of uh, the previous generation of NAMLBB Esports has to crawl their way through uh, the not upper bracket. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, how long was it? 31 minutes, 32 minutes almost, and would not have it either way. Uh, I love it. Everyone watching in chat is, is having 